Praise the Lord, God bless you. Praise the Lord, God bless you. My name is Minister Red, pastor of Christ Our Life Ministries, located in Augusta, Georgia, on 308 Road Street, directly behind the Walmart Lowe's on Bobby Jones Expressway, in the state 520 heading west. Pray that you'll join us for our worship service on Sundays at 10 a.m. and for Bible study every Thursday night at 7 p.m. I'm sure you'll be blessed. Just well as I know you'll be blessed by the night teaching, amen. God bless you, Sister Ann. God bless you, Brother Rowan. God bless you, Sister Gloria. Thank y'all for joining me for tonight's teaching, amen. Amen. I want to teach tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Want to teach tonight. And we want to give people the time to come on the telecast. So we're going to just play a little short uh, worship song. And then that'll give uh, other people time to join the telecast before I uh, start teaching tonight. Hallelujah. Name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 His name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel. His name is called. Emmanuel. God with us. desire at all to have a Tuesday night service. I can tell you that now. No. But the burden is too heavy not to because of what's going on in the world. So I, I need I, so the, the Lord been on me real hard and so I was I had to submit. I had to submit and, and, and uh, say I was going to do the night's Bible study, uh, basically mainly because of some of the stuff I've been seeing on Facebook by saints. Oh, I'm going to call you saints. I thought I'm not going to call you Christian. I'm going to call you a saint. I'm going to call you a saint. You might behave like a Christian, but I'm going to call you a saint. I'm not going to take you out of the seat that I feel that God has put us in. Tonight, we're going to learn who we are. We're going to learn that we should be seeing everything through the eyes of love. And we need to ask ourselves the question. We need to, even the world is wanting to hear a voice. But Emmanuel, God with us, the word made flesh, when he asked the question, when was I never silent? God bless you, Sister Renesca, my battle buddy, drill sergeant battle buddy. The Lord asks us this question 
When was I never silent? God bless you, Rock. Thank you for joining me tonight. When? When was the Lord never silent? When, when, when they betrayed him, when they took him into the courthouse and put him before God, when was he never silent? People want us to talk today. People want us to voice our dissatisfaction of what took place in Minneapolis, what took place in Brunswick, Georgia. They want the body of Christ to be with them. I'm going to teach tonight on who we are, who they are, who they want us to become, who people that say they Holy Ghost feel are tonight. I'm going to teach slow. I'm going to teach with passion. I know I am. And I'm going to teach with clarity. So after tonight, if you want to join the masses with the with what they're doing right now, then feel free. Feel free because you are free. Never ever think that you're not free because you're always free. Whether you're in Christ or not, you are free to do whatever you want to do because God created you that way. He created us that way. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we come boldly before your throne of grace tonight that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Lord, we need a word from you tonight to try to Give us more light in the world that's very dark right now. Very dark is the United States right now. Looking for light. But they're looking for it the wrong way. And I don't come here tonight to talk to the world. I come here tonight to talk to those that you have called out of the world, those that you have called out of darkness into your marvelous light. That's what I want to talk to tonight because I want to make sure that I strengthen them on their most holy faith and to not allow the saint that is weak in the faith to cause them to be tripped up because they're not strong enough to handle the fire. Oh, it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray to you tonight, Father God. It might be my voice that they recognize, and it might be my face that they know, but let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Sister Andrea Long, amen, teaching tonight. I'm teaching, I'm going to talk slow, I'm going to be passionate, I want to make sure that we understand how to deal with what's going on right now as believers. Because, because, because this thing then shook the very core of the United States and, and in that very core, if you think, if you think for one second that all of them people out there protesting are not church goers, then you are ignorant. There is people that on December the 25th, they got their nativity set in the yard. They got their Christmas tree up. They playing their Christmas carols. And Easter.
Easter, they ready. They run out to the graveyard to the resurrection. They ready. But one incident is driving them crazy. Sister Vanessa, y'all can't hear me. Can anybody, can y'all hear me? Because Sister Vanessa is putting a question mark up there. I hope y'all can hear me. Amen. Can y'all hear me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brother Peter, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we got audio? Do we got audio? Okay, so we do got audio. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, sweetheart. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let us, amen, go on now. Teacher. We are free will. God bless you, Scott Evans. Thank you for joining me. We are free will. Seen, and we should be seen through the eyes of love. We should be seen through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ's eyes. And when, so he asked the question tonight, when was I never silent? When was Jesus never, Jesus never entertained worldly conversation? Because he knew that's why he came. That's why he came. He came to address the problems in the world and to deliver us out of this world. We're going to learn tonight who we are and how the enemy is able to get us to hate each other. Ephesians 4, 11 through 15. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. I'm a pastor teacher. Tonight, I'm going to be a teacher tonight. For the perfecting of the saints. Because I'm telling you, some saints ain't being perfected. For the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. So the saints can be perfect so when they go out and do the work of the ministry that Jesus Christ left for the church to do for him. For the edifying of the body of Christ. So we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect free will being unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. From now on, tonight, teacher, I'm teaching tonight. Whenever you see the word man in the Bible, you can say the word free will. I'm going to teach that tonight. John, 1 John 4 and 8. He that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. We're not going to say the word God too many times tonight. We're going to call him what 1 John 4 and 8 says he is. We're going to call him love tonight. 1 John 1 and 5. This is the message which we have heard of him. And declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. In him is no, so he's love, and in this love, there is no darkness at all. John 3, 19. And this is the condemnation. But we know Romans 8, 1 says, therefore there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. But this is the condemnation, though, that light is come into the world. God then came into the world as Emmanuel. And men, free wills, love darkness. We're going to learn that darkness tonight. Rather than light, rather than love, rather than God. Because their deeds 
more evil, evil deeds. Here we go. First John 5 and 7. I told you I'm teaching and I'm laying the foundation. Then I'm going to start teaching. Because we first we need to know that God is love. Next, we need to know that God is light. Next, we need to know that men love darkness rather than they love light. Number four. four first John 5 and 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, love, the Word, Jesus, he was the Word made flesh, John 1 and 14, and the Holy Ghost, the after resurrection life of Jesus, the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. These three are one. These three are one. Here we go. Galatians 1, 12 through 15. Giving thanks unto the Father, unto love, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in him. When we see light, we say God. But God is light. He has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in him who have delivered us from the power of darkness, right and wrong. He delivered us from that power of right and wrong. Because right and wrong is darkness. Because, you know, because if right, whether you're right or you're wrong, who cares? Are you in love? Are you in love? Because he delivered us from right and wrong living and put us in love. And have translated us, translated us, definition of translated, to move from one place or condition to another. He has moved us out of the world into the kingdom of his dear son. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or power, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, that's acting like a fool right now. He is the head of the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead that in all things he might have the preeminence, the superiority in all things, in living things and in dead things. He was the firstborn from the dead, the outer resurrection life of Jesus, the Christ life. Here we go. Time to learn about. We finna learn it. First John 5 and 7. There are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. In the beginning, love created the heavens and the earth. It was love that created the heavens and the earth. It was love. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness when, see, darkness is not the absence of light. If you're taking notes, write this down. Darkness is not the absence of light, which is what God is, but darkness is the absence of God who is light. Darkness is not the absence of light. It is the absence of God who is light. 
And so this darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And love said, let there be light. Let me be on the scene. And there was God on the scene. God bless you, Brother Harvey. Verse 4, and God saw the light. God saw himself that it, it was good because he's, God is love. Love is good. And God divided the light himself from the dark. He divided himself from unloving things. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. First Thessalonians 5, 1 through 15. You know what? I just read that, but this bird writes, but at least, but at the times and seasons, brother, you have no need that I write unto you about Genesis 1, 1 through 5. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord, see, it's all about the day of the Lord. He, he, don't come, he ain't coming in tonight, the day of the Lord. Because when he comes, it's always going to be day. It's never going to be night. Because whenever he shows up, night has to leave because he has the preeminence over night. He has the preeminence over darkness. He has the preeminence over all that riot and mess that's going on right now. Let them riot. Let them kill themselves. Stay in love. We're going to teach it. I'm going to worry about it no more. I'm, going to, I'm about to make it real plain for you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. He's, going to, uh, uh, he's not going to. A robber. A robber will get you at any at 24 hours. You know, a thief only comes in the night because a thief don't want you to see him. He came as a thief. Once Noah and them went in that ark, he came as a thief on everybody that went in that ark. He came in the form of flood water. The day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then shall sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with a child. You know what the number one chant they're saying right now? No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. It, it, it ain't gonna be no, there was never no peace in the first place. Before this mess happened to George Floyd, before this mess happened to Ahmaud Aubrey, there was no peace, no way. There was joyful sinning. There was never no peace. Everybody was enjoying the pleasures of sin. And so now, that this officer done killed this man by putting his knee on his neck, the darkness, the enemy done shifted the focus from the pleasures of sin for a season to complete chaos. And the church is acting like they don't know what's going on. And they all are in the middle of it. We're going to talk about that. For when they shall say peace and safety, oh, I promise you, just as soon as this mess dies down and everything goes back to being peaceful again, something else is going to happen and then this all mess going to repeat itself because that's what sin does. That's what the enemy does. He repeats itself. So he can keep showing God that the people that say they love him are liars. That say they live in love are liars. 
Oh, it comes upon them like a woman with child, and they and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, ye are not in darkness that the day should overtake you as a thief. We had to know this was coming. It's not going to get better down here. It's going to get worse. But you know, but if we spent more time in this, well, we would be ready. We would be ready for stuff like this to happen. We would be ready. I'm going to teach you tonight why, what happened over the last couple of weeks, how it, how it happened. But you ain't in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. What, what, what happened on that day when he put that knee on that guy's neck and killed him? But that day shouldn't be overtaking you as a thief. That's what happens in the world. Don't let the enemy fool you and make it into a black and white, a police, a racist. No, no, no. Don't do that. They live, there's, there's darkness on display. And you know what? I tell you, he, that darkness has been getting glorified on Facebook by believers. I tell you, I ain't never been so proud of the members of Christ Our Life Ministries. I've seen them post absolutely nothing on Facebook. When I tell you nothing, I say because I'm looking, I'm looking to see if y'all going to break. And y'all have y'all have y'all haven't touched your Facebook page to write nothing. I am an honored pastor by that. You wrote nothing. Nothing. You are the children of light. You showing me that. And the children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. We are not. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Don't let them pull you in to the warfare. But let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. Keep love on. Keep love on. I tell you, I'm going to show you tonight, people think that there was a white man that put his knee on that guy's neck and killed him. I tell you, it wasn't a white man. I tell you, the Bible says, to know no man after the flesh. I tell you, knowledge told you there was a white man to get you, because the enemy wants you to put, put emphasis on what you see rather than what he's doing. Oh, we got to put on the helmet, on, on helmet, the hope of salvation. For God, for love, here we go, love. I told you I'm not going to call him God. I'm calling him love because we got to know that it was love that created us. For love has not appointed us to wrath. Love has not appointed us to extreme anger. Here we go. Romans 12, 19. He, this, I'm telling you, I don't know how the church people is caught up in this mess. I don't know how we caught up in it. Here we go. Romans Avenge not yourselves. You know, you know who Minister Red, yourself just to Minister Red? I'm a black man. Come on, so that's so that telling me as a black man, don't avenge yourself. But rather give place unto extreme anger. And you know, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give place to you, extreme anger. I'm gonna give place to you. 
but I'm not going to do nothing and I'm not going to avenge myself. For it is written, it's written in this book that I read every day, it's written in this book to me that vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. I tell you, all this looting and all this killing and all this stuff that's going on, I tell you, they can't see the other side of death. I tell you, it, I tell you, the Bible says, hell enlargeneth itself every day. The lake of fire grows. I'm telling you, so many people have secured a permanent location in the lake of fire through this event. People that profess to be Christians. You think Judas wasn't a believer at one time? You think Ananias and Sapphira weren't a believer at one time? You think Nadab and Abihu, Aaron's sons, weren't believers at one time? You think the man of God from Judah that went back when he wasn't supposed to go back, you think he wasn't a believer at one time? You think Cain didn't hear the love telling him to let, let it go? I'm going to teach you tonight why love why well, it's going to be very easy for love to throw us in the lake of fire. For love hath not appointed us to wrath, but to, op but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. That we might obtain deliverance from darkness by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him, not with the people doing the rioting, not with the mindset of the people doing the rioting. We should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. People ain't warning people being unruly. They're out there watching with them saying, no justice, no peace. Ain't nobody warning them about being unruly. Even the leadership. Even the leadership. Governor of New York says, I'm with the rioters. I wonder if he's trying to get people to like him so he can run for office or something. They have to turn his state up and he's saying, I'm with the rioters. The, 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 the man, your, your, your state, your police officers, none of your, none of, nobody in New York did that. I was looking at Sunday, I was looking at some of them, and, and, I was looking, and so the people in Augusta, they were saying, Augusta's on the map, because, you know, Augusta started riding, so they're going to say, Augusta's on the map. Warn them that are unruly. Y'all don't want to warn them because you don't want them to know you don't stand with them. Comfort the feeble-minded. Support the weak. Be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man. But ever follow that which is good. What is good? God is good. Both among yourselves and to all men. Here we go. 
Now I get to teach the way I wanted to teach. Here we go. We're going to start from the beginning. Because this is where all this stuff started at was in the beginning. Genesis chapter, where well, I really went through Genesis chapter 1, talking about God is light. So here we go, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. This is where I'm finna taste. And love said, let us make free will in our image. You know what I'm saying? You know, we are free will. There's no, the, when God created the angels, they're not free will. They minister spirits. They minister spirits. Hebrews 1 and 4, the angels. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to? For them who shall be heirs of salvation, we are free will. When God created the angels, he assigned them to a post. I you know that, you know, I, I thank God because you know, because you know, it, it took it takes my military background sometimes for, for God to make me understand stuff. When I was in Berlin, and, and so I was, so we, so you had the French, you had the British, and you had the American. We had these three sections, and then the Russians owned the whole communist side. And then, in learning about the Russians, it was that the reason why they were so good was because they only trained them on one thing. So they said, if you can shoot and kill the tank driver, that tank ain't moving because the other guys were not taught how to drive the tank. Only one guy knew how to drive the tank. He mastered the tank. The other guy didn't. Know. So if you killed the guy that was shooting the 50 cal, the other ones was in trouble if the 50 cal stopped shooting because they didn't know how to function it. So God said, let us make man, let us make free will. We are free will. That's why people do it, because we free will. God took a chance and made free will. He made free, we are, we are free will. That's his, you want to know what you are? You are free will. Free to do what you want to do. You are free will. God said, let us make free will in our image. The key word, our image. Our, our is plural, not singular. 1 John 5 and 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So the one, so he, God said, love said, let us make free will in our image. After our likeness, again, still stand plural here with the word our, our likeness. And let them, let these free wills have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So love created free will in his own image. We know what the image of God is. We learned it back here. Verse 15, Colossians 1 and 15. Who is the image of the invisible God? So, the first thing we need to know is in Genesis chapter 20, verse 1, chapter 27. So, love said, let us create man in our, so God created, no, so God created man, God created free will in his. See, he went, he left the plural. Let me go back now, Genesis 1, And love said, let us make man in our plural image after our plural likeness. Then in verse 27, he began to break the free will down and start making him in the image of the Godhead bodily. So the part that the free will took from God 
is the invisible image of love. The invisible image of love. So love created free will in his. Not the word in the Holy Ghost as we break it down and even though the three are one but the way we are created. So love created free will in his own image, which is invisible. In the image of love created he him, male and female created he them. And love blessed them and love said unto them, be fruitful. Then we get to Galatians chapter 5 when we learn what these fruits are. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. None of that is being exhibited in these riots. Oh, you think it is. They think it is. Because, you know, it, you know, because it, you know it, it seems right to do that. But Proverbs 16 and 25 says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a free will, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. Because, you know, free will think that he knows the right way. Well, if the free will operates outside of love, he, he, he's going to, it's always going to end in death. So love bless them and love said to them, be fruitful. I want you to live and have dominion through nine, and I want you to exhibit nine fruits. I want you to display these nine fruits and I want you to multiply yourself and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Number one, love. God is the invisible part of us. Verse seven. The Lord God, the word, the one that died for us, the part of God that we can see, the part of love that we can see. This part of love that we can see was so full of love that when he came and he, and he lived the life before the disciples and then Philip asked him, Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and it suffices for us. And Jesus says, have I not been so long time with you and have you not known the Father? I ain't did nothing but love y'all. Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God, the Word made flesh. Yeah, because we know the Word was made flesh. That's the Lord God. Form the body of free will from the dust of the ground. And then he breathed into this body the free will. And the body of the free will became a living being. So the Lord God, the part two, so we got the invisible part, which is love. So then we got the second part, which is the Lord God, which is the word. He planted a garden east with an Eden, and that he put the free will whom he had formed. Saying, of every tree of the garden, thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day. See, it's always about in the day. Because he only deals with us on in the day principle. Because we are of the day, not of the night. He says, in the day, because he knows that the enemy always comes to kill, steal, and destroy in the day. The man did not put his knee on George Floyd's neck in the night. The two men 
came to Nasu Ahmad Aubrey in the night. He came, they did it in the day. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. On that day, Officer Chauvin, the free will, ate from that tree. And whatever he ate from that tree would not let him take his knee off that man's neck. He's free will. And, and that free will, when it did that, Every free will that does not live in the day, that will not, that does not stay in love, that very same evil, they ate it. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. To eat, definition of the word eat means to digest, to take in information. You are a free will, and I'm telling you, there's information that's going to come from the prince of darkness, and there's going to be information that's coming from this. And if you ain't me spending no time in this, the information that the prince of darkness is going to put on you, you will do exactly what Officer Chauvin did. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not take in information. I'm telling you, the internet is full of information right now. Church people blowing up they glorifying the church people are glorifying this thing more than the worldly people. You know what they're doing? Because we're free will. We can do what we want to do. We don't have to stay in the day. The enemy can come with information and we can eat it but I tell you, he's coming in the day. People say, I'm saved, saved by the Holy Ghost field. If you say that, then you're telling me you're a day person. And the Lord says, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that you Take in that information. You're going to die. You're going to stop loving. You're going to stop forgiving. You're going to stop having peace. You're going to stop being long-suffering. You're stop going to be gentle. You're not going to, ain't going to be no more goodness. You ain't going to have no more faith because you don't believe the word no more. You don't know the word. You ain't going to be meek and you ain't going to have no temperance. All because... You took in information in the day. And the Lord said, it is not good. There goes that word good again. That the free will should be alone. I will make him and free will help me for him. I'm going to make him a free will help me. He had to because God, they said, let us create man in our own image. Let us create free will in our own image. Male and female created he them. Let me make him. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. And free will help me for him. Now the serpent, here comes the enemy coming to steal, kill, and destroy in the form of Satan. I told you, Satan is not a free will. He's an 
angel, he's a ministering, he's a ministering spirit. He's a ministering spirit. I am a minister of Jesus Christ. He's the minister of darkness. Either you're going to eat his information or you're going to eat mine. But you're going to eat one of our information. Now the serpent, Satan, this unemployed cherub that was kicked out of heaven because he, God created, God is love. I mean, this, this cherub lived in a place that was dominated by love. And so, when, I guess when he knew that God wanted to make free will beings, he must have got mad and decided he wanted to be like love. Rather than being in love, living in love, he wanted to be like love. I will be like the most high God. That's what he said. There are three W's in heaven. Three W's in heaven. You got the worder, which is Gabriel, the archangel Gabriel. Whenever God wants to send a word into the world to his servants, Gabriel, in the Bible, Gabriel would always be the one to bring that word. Whenever there was war going on, he would always send Michael. Michael was the warring archangel. Satan, Lucifer, was the third devil. He was the worshiper. He was in charge of all worship in heaven. But when he rebelled against God, and he took the, the choir with him. What does the choir do? The choir sings. So he took this one third of these angels, his tail, according to Revelation chapter 12, he took a third of these angels and he was kicked out of heaven into this realm where God brought us, but he separated the two realms. But this serpent came in the day into the Garden of Eden. He came to talk to the free will helpmate. So you got the warrior, you got the warrior, and you got the worshiper. The worshiper's missing. So he comes down on earth, so he starts his, he gets his three W's. Y'all is dominating. His three W's is dominating the world today. It's called the World Wide Web. It's called the Internet. WWW. World Wide Web, the Internet, running the world now. Making sure that we can see everything that the kingdom of darkness is doing so that he can feed us information to take in in the day. So this fallen angel who was more solid than any beast of the field which the word the Lord God had made, part two, the part that we can touch, the Lord God, and he said unto this ministering spirit, this fallen ministering spirit, angels, are they not ministering spirits? This fallen ministering spirit said unto the free will help me. Hath love said. See, that's why I said when I preach it, I'm going to tell you what love said. I'm not going to tell you what Pastor Red said. Hath love said, ye shall not eat of every tree 
of the garden. And the free will help me said unto the serpent, unto Satan, unto the fallen angel, the fallen minister spirits. She said unto this fallen minister spirit, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Every fruit tree in that garden was eatable. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. You see the midst. Definitely the word midst is in the middle of the sense. See y'all all see you got church people they're all in the middle of this mess. They all in the middle of this mess. You know why they all in the middle of this mess? Because they took in the information. How were they able to take in information? Their free will. You do what you want to do. Eat what you want to eat. Go where you want to go. Do what you want to do. But I tell you what, you better hope you are in the day when the Lord's wrath comes. See, when God built Noah and them the ark, the Bible says, in the day that Noah went into the ark, it rained. In the day that Noah went into the ark, it rained. The day that Lot went out of Sodom and Gomorrah, it rained fire and brimstone. The day that David decided he was going to run down there and fight Goliath. Goliath died. Caught Goliath, caught David on the wrong day. He came and fought David in the daytime. Should have fought David in the night. But David wouldn't fight him in the night. You you got the church today, we do night fighting. What's night fighting? With dealing with this situation, with the information that the World Wide Web is feeding us. Black people getting fed food that a white man killed a black man by putting his knee on his neck for eight minutes. God bless you, Sister Cole. The enemy has so many church people today eating that information up. That free will help me say, oh, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the trees which is in the midst of the garden, love hath said. Listen what love said. Love said, you shall not eat of it. You shall not take in that information. You shall not touch it. Lest you die. And the unemployed fallen ministering spirit said unto the free will help me, you ain't going to die. For love don't know that in the day. I'm telling you, it's, it's, all, about, it's all about in the day. It, 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 see, the enemy got to get you out of the day. Because we are children of the day, night of the night. He got to get you out of the day. He got to get you to take in this information in the day. 
For love doesn't know that in the day you take in this information, your eyes going to be open and I'm going to destroy you because you're going to be looking and not loving. Because of information. He says, you should be as gods, knowing good and evil. Mm -mm, no, no, we, no, if you take in information, you only don't, if God, no, God wants us to know him. He wants us to know love. He wants us to know love. He don't want us to, he, no, no. And the free will help me saw that the tree was God. How can you see that what they're doing out there is something good? How can you see that what is going on in the world today, how in the world can you see that anything they're doing out there is good? What, what, what's the good that's going to come out of it? It ain't going to bring them people back to life. See, when the free will woman saw that the tree was good for food, how can that information be good when the when love says that in the day that you eat it, you're gonna die? How can that be a good, how can that be good information? And she and, and watch this that the Tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the I see it's pleasant. It's you know, it's, it, you know, it's pleasant for all the black people to lock hands and the and, and to walk up and down the street together. That's pleasant to the black people's eyes. It's pleasant for the rioters to want to tie a city up, and then they got the entire police force down on their knees. And then they're coming up, giving them high fives. Like, yeah, y'all with us. Y'all support what we're doing. Yeah, you, under, you understand the information that we're dealing with here. You understand the information because we done, we done took what the enemy gave us and we done and we are not trying to be in the day right now. And you got God's professing believers that came out of the day chilling with them. I'm about ready to let y'all start commenting. I just want to get through this part, then I want to start seeing some comments. I just want to get past this part with this free will help me. And she saw that the and that it was put at a tree to be desired to make one wise. You know, they think that's a wise thing they're doing out there. They think that's very wise. See, so that, that this free will help me took of the fruit thereof and then take in that information and gave also unto her free will husband with her and he took in the information and the eyes of them both were open and they knew that they was naked. They knew naked, undisguised, open. I'm telling you, this thing done undisguised a bunch of believers. It's done undisguised you all because you have taken in the information. You just, you just can't stay in the day. You got to talk about, because if you're in the day, you can't talk about the night, because love separated day from night. 
That's impossible for you to talk about night when you are in the day. What are you talking about night for if you're spending 100% of your time in the day? How can you talk about night? And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Here we go, right here. Part two, the Lord God. Here it is. Here you go. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 8 to 11. The Lord God, when the word was made flesh, and being found in fashion as a free will, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Why did he become obedient unto death? Because he never took in the information and the people that were took in the information killed him. We as preachers, as ministers, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter all day long. The way I preach, the way I teach, I am considered as Slaughter for people that have took in the information that the unemployed, fallen, menacing spirit has caused free will beings to take to partake of. The Lord came in the fashion as a free will being. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. I can tell you, you ain't born no cross. You too busy out there with them saying no justice, no peace. You too busy trying to trying to trying to just prove that that officer did a very bad thing. When, yes, he did. That's what happens in the night. And when we see it, we need to do what we need to do. We need to say, that's night living. That right there is night living. The enemy said, God don't know that in the day, if I can get you to eat this in the day, I can get you in the night. I need you to take this information so I can pull you out of the day and get you in the night where you're going to have a very hard time getting out of it. Because you ain't going to want to die. Because the rich young ruler did not want to experience a day of not being rich. Wherefore, love Hours and giving him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things that are in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Here we go. And the Lord God, this is in the Garden of Gethsemane, the free will Lord of ours, when he took on that fashion and being found in fashion as a free will, he was withdrawn from the free will disciples of his about a stone's cast. Oh, yes, Sister Selena, that's right. Y'all can start commenting now. Say, Father, if thou be willing, love, love, if you be willing, remove this cup from me. Remove it. Nevertheless, not my free will be done, but thine be done. Let your love be done. Let your love be done greater than 
my free will that Adam and Eve had made a slave to sin. After he prayed that prayer, verse 42 says, Then there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, not from Jude chapter 1. And the angel which kept not that first statement left their own habitation he has reserved under everlasting pits under darkness until the day of judgment. That ain't who. See, this angel from heaven came and strengthened him. The angel from heaven will come and strengthen you in this hour right now where everybody seems to be leaving out of the day going into the night. Therefore, if any free will be in the outer resurrection life of Jesus, he is a new free will. All things, that old information, that old night living passed away. Behold, all things are become new. This is 2020. You are a free will individual. Live your life. Do what you want to do. But I can tell you what. You better know that you, God, has called us out of darkness, put us into his marvelous light. We are living in a new day. And the enemy is doing everything in his power to get us into the night with the rest of the world. Hit man putting his knee on that guy's neck is showing us how many people are in the night. Oh yeah, Brother Harvey, and not in his marvelous light. Oh no, they ain't in his marvelous light. No, they ain't. They in the night. And we and they're talking about the night. I'm not gonna talk about the night. Talk about the day. Do not eat the inflammation. The majority of the inflammation is coming from our famous night people. You got Don Lemon on CNN. He's getting ready to marry a man. Rachel Maddow running MSNBC. She's married to a woman. Anderson Cooper. He's on CNN. He's married to a man. Robin Roberts. She's running Good Morning America. She's married to a lady. Ellen DeGeneres. She's running daytime television. She's married to a woman. The night people are running the world. We got a president that is night people. He's feeding information that is not love. I ain't playing with y'all. You support him all you want. I support no night people. I'll not vote for him, nor will I vote for Joe Biden. Hopefully it's an independent person. I'll vote for him. I said it on the air. I don't care who's the president of the United States. I don't care. Because they're still going to, they're still going to do night stuff. 
I'm not gonna not vote for Donald President Donald Trump because of the, the stuff. That, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm standing today. You, you worldly people, run your world. He's not taking me out of it. I'm, I'm going to die one day. I tell you, when I die, I tell you, if you want to see a person that's going to live on the new earth, you're looking at him. You know why? Scott Eubanks, my friend, because of not taking in the information, I'm not taking it in from the president, I'm not taking it in from the Democrats. I'm not taking it in from the black people. I'm not taking it in from the church people. I'm taking it in from love that's talking to me, a free will person. Now I'm going to tell you the problem with the free will person. The problem with the free will person is what happened in 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the invisible love, the Word, Jesus, the one that came and died on the cross, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Well, when the free will helped me and the free will man took in the information that they weren't supposed to take in, they never obtained the image of the Holy Ghost. And thus said, let us make free will in our, see, our, see, see we, we, we took on the invisible image of God. We took the Lord God came in the fashion as us. We, so we got them two images. We never, because they took in that information, they never received the image of the Holy Ghost. And so God comes to him. He sends the Lord God down here. He, we kill him, but before we kill him, he tells his free will disciples, go unto Jerusalem and wait until you be and do with power from on high. And then when the Lord could, then in Acts chapter 2, they come to Peter and they say, what must we do to receive this third part that we never received. And Peter said, repent for taking that information and be baptized, everyone like you, in the name of Jesus Christ and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, the third part of the image that we're missing. And everybody you see out there doing that writing, doing all that foolishness, are missing the power to overcome that information. The reason why they can't fight off race the reason why they can't fight off evil, the reason why they can't fight off nastiness, the reason why they can't fight off knees off of the neck, the reason why they can't fight off busting out people's windshields in their cars that's riding down the street like they was the ones that killed the guy. The reason why they can't do that is because of the information that that Free will helpmate and her free will husband took in under the counsel of an unemployed 
ministering spirits who's now running this world through the World Wide Web and is using the children of the day just as much as he's using the children of the night. We are not of the world. We ain't supposed to love the world. We're just here waiting for our Hebrews 9 and 27, our appointment with death. And I pray that when death finds you, it will find you living in the day. There is a way. There is a way. But we know that the one that was made in fashion as a free will, we know that he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto love but by me. But, you know, but free wills, you know, they, it's the way that seemeth, you know where they get that way from? The, the, the information. The information. That's why Psalm says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You know, because the ungodly gets his he takes in his information from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You do not need Pastor Red to tell you nothing. Because Pastor Red gets all of his information from this very same book that you possess. You just won't let it keep you in the day. If you read it, if you read it, and he says, if you abide in me, I'm going to abide in you. you you'll never see death. Because the way to see death is to come out of the day. To see death is to come, is for the branch to detach itself from the vine. To leave out of the day is to stop manifesting the fruits of the Spirit. You are free will. Love says free will. What is your life? It is but a vapor. If our life is nothing but a vapor, can we vape, can, can we just vapor ourselves in the day? Can, we can't just hold up because the because love says, love says that in 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, love says that is no information that is taken you, but such as is common to man. But love will, with that same information, make a way of escape for you that you may be able to bear that information without falling into the night. This is 2020. I tell you, this is 2020. This is the year of showing night that you're not going to allow it to pull you out of the day. We're going to lose some friends. We're going to lose some church friends. We're going to lose, we're going to lose some family friends. We're going to lose some 20-year friends. We're going to, I tell you, they're going, your friends, our friends, 
the people that say they have a relationship with God, they're living off of information that has nothing to do with love. We are free will. We are free will that should be seen through the eyes of love. Nothing made Jesus, who was made in the fashion of free will, nothing made him not see through the eyes of his father. He was the entire 1 John 5 and 7 that we've been looking for. He's the 1 John 5 and 7 that we've been looking for. And he shows us that when we get into the light, the Holy Ghost will keep us in the Father. So we get baptized into the Lord who submitted his will to the Father who sends his Holy Spirit and when the Holy Spirit shows up, love tells the Holy Spirit, put light on the situation. In the beginning, love created the heavens and the earth. And darkness, the realm of the fallen, unemployed, ministering spirit, Satan, was upon the face of the deep. And love said, and the, and the spirit of love hovered over the waters, and love said, let there be light. And when darkness, and because our Lord and Savior would not take in the information of the world. He wouldn't even take in Moses' information. Because Moses' information says if you catch somebody in adultery, you stone. But the Holy Ghost information was well, I want to just, which one you I want Tell me which one of you free wills don't have the same knowledge, the same, ain't living by the same information she's living by. Oh, just because you're not committing adultery don't mean you ain't living by that same information. You're living by the same information. So when they took him into the court, after they beat him to death, In the day when they put the nails in his hand, they did it in the day. When they pierced him in the side, they did it in the day. Do you know who put the nails in his hand? The law. The Roman law. Do you know who put the knee in George's neck, the law. They did it in the day. The information makes you do it in the day. Jesus was not killed in secret. He was not killed in secret. Stephen was not killed in secret. 
The three Hebrew boys was not thrown into the fiery furnace in the nighttime. Daniel was not thrown in the lion's den in the nighttime. God never let the children of Israel walk in the nighttime. He let them by a cloud by day, and he let them by fire, the Holy Ghost, by night. He never puts us in the night. What puts you in the night is you eat the information from the World Wide Web. And on the World Wide Web, you got all these people saying, if you don't say nothing, you're part of the problem. When was our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ never silent when they was beating him to death, nailing him? The whole time he was saying, love, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Love, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He wasn't saying, no justice, no peace. He wasn't saying that. And you know, I, I want to explain why I said what I said this week in my Facebook thing about um, unfriending some of y'all. I, I menace a friend of mine. He gonna send me a messenger thing, and on the messenger thing, you know, I guess Nick Cannon. Like I'm not. I can tell you, I don't listen to none of it. You sending it? You sending it for nothing? I'm not listening to it. You send me some from Nick. I guess Nick Cannon must have did a poem about this mess. But at the, b b before the poem, he, he, he put up the top of it, this S-H-I-T is deep. A minister. What? <laughs> well, I'm like, okay, you, you gone. He don't know it. He don't know it. I, my nephews, nieces, cousins, writing foolishness, unfriending them. I'm not taking in the information. I'm not taking in the information. I'm not taking in the information. I'm having a hard time with the information that I had before this information. I don't need no more information. I got all the information from right here. Told me all the information I needed. And he, this told me, I can tell you how to solve that information problem. Deny yourself, deny your free will life, take up your cross and follow me. 1993, I did that. No information you can feed me is going to get me to walk in the darkness with you. I'm going to love white people. I'm going to love police officers. I'm going to love gay people. I'm going to love every free will individual that comes into my life. Because when they come, I'm going to make sure that they understand day living. 
I'm not living night life with them. I'm going to love them. If they want to live in the night, live in the night. But I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. And I'm going to look at how the information you're feeding me through your behavior. And if it does not line up with this, I'm going to love you, but I'm not going to walk in your information. You people that's listening to me tonight, you free wills, you are so much living in the day. Satan is doing everything he can to pull y'all. Notice I said y'all. I can tell you I'm not going into the information. I'm telling you I ain't going into the information. I know I am counted for sheep as the slaughter. I know that. If you're going to slaughter me, I refuse to not walk in the day. Black people, I know you're black. White people, I know what the white people are doing to the black people. White people and black people are free wills. Forget the black and the white. If you just stay with the fact that they're free wills. Don't focus on the dust of the ground that the free will is in. If you just focus on the free will, your fight with that fallen unemployed ministering spirit will be very easy. Because his objective is to get you to be open. He need to get you naked. He needs to get you naked. He does not want you to be clothed in love. He doesn't want you to be clothed in light. He doesn't want you to be clothed in the goodness of God. He doesn't want you to be clothed in forgiveness. He does not want you to be clothed in mercy. It is the mercies of God that he has not rained down fire on one of them cities that's acting stupid right now. I need you as children of the day to stay in the day. Please stay in the day. Let the world do what the world does. They got to do it because they keep taking in the information. The lake of fire is real. It is real. I feel sorry for the people that think it ain't. The lake of fire is real. It is for the people that come out of the day. Oh yeah, Gloria, Gloria, I'm telling you, Gloria, it's 
all about handling information. It ain't like we don't know that from Corinthians. It says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the information of love. For the weapons are going to work or not, carnal, but they're mighty through love to the casting down of imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the information of love and bringing every thought in the captivity to the obedience of the outer resurrection life of Jesus. It's that simple. If there's nothing you learn from tonight, if there's nothing you learn from tonight, it's two things, three things, three things I want to leave you with. I want to leave you with Adam and Eve, the free will man and the free will, free will help me. The problem was they did not receive the Holy Ghost. That's the first thing. Second thing is you have what they didn't receive. You have what they didn't receive. And the third thing is first John says you have an unction from the from that Holy Ghost. He will teach you all the information you need to keep you living in the day. Please stay in the day because that trumpet is about to sound. And if I'm telling you, My wife ain't ready for the trumpet to sound. My son ain't ready for the trumpet to sound. My daughter is not ready for the trumpet to sound. I got family members that are not ready for the trumpet to sound. I got church friends that are not ready for the trumpet to sound. I got co-workers that are not ready for the trumpet to sound. The problem with all those people that I just mentioned that are not ready for the trumpet to sound, they're all professing Christians. Watch the information that you're taking in. You are without excuse. The man of God from Judah, love told him, do not go back. Don't eat nothing. He, the false prophet said, I'm a prophet like you. But God said you could come back to my house and eat. He took in the information. He took in the information. Oh, ain't nobody gonna find out that you took that stuff out of Jericho. You're gonna be all right. Joshua called Achan out. He said, Achan, give glory to God. What have you done? I took the information. I took the information from lust. And I hid, I took it, and then I took it, and then I hid it under my tent. I took it. I took the information. When you fall, you fall because you've taken information that love told you not to take. That's what I want to leave you with tonight. Thou art inexcusable, old man. You are inexcusable 
after tonight's message for taking in information that you know that the word of God did not tell you to take in. Oh yeah, Brother Peachy. You got it. You got it, Brother Peachy. God wants to live free. Will you see that right there? He, he, God ain't put you in a shackle. He, he, we are free will. We are free will. No other creature other than God was created with free will. You free will. So remember that. That's why the Bible says free will. Be angry but sin not. Free will. Be angry but don't take in that knowledge that's got you mad. Do not eat what that madness is going to tell you to do. You can, I know you're going to be angry. Bring, that's why I tell you, be angry. I, I, don't, I don't want to put you in shock. I, be angry. But I tell you what, you better not take in that information. You better continue to love. Today, in the United States, Brother Scott Eubanks, today, they ain't living in the day. That's why I love what you wrote on Facebook the other day. They ain't living in the day. I know it's hard to love people. I mean, it is hard to love lying, backstabbing people. It is hard. But the only reason why they're lying, backstabbing people is because of the information they've been eating. The information they've been taking in. Live in the day with your free will. All that is is when somebody come up to you acting like an idiot, okay, that person's free will, he, he can, they can do that. I got to make sure I am not sleep to this person. Because they just sleep, sleep in the night. But we're not of the night, we're of the day. It's time to stop falling to the information of an unemployed ministering spirit that God kicked out of heaven because he didn't love the place that love ruled. How can you not love a place that love ruled? Oh yeah, Brother Parker, that's what the Bible says while it is called today. I think y'all got it. Y'all, I, y'all, y'all got it. Y'all got it. I tell you, I can see y'all getting up at the sound of the trump. The Bible says the dead in the out of resurrection life of Jesus shall be caught up in the air. And then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up in the air. It says the day of the Lord will come. The day will come at a shout. At the sound of the trump of the archangel, and the day and the day of the Lord, and the dead in Christ shall rise, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up in the air with them. But that is it, but it tells us, but that will be in the day of the Lord. And that day is going to come as a thief in the night. He's not going to come in the night. He's going to come as a thief in the night. When you don't expect it. And I pray that when he comes, he'll find you loving somebody 
that really don't deserve your love. I am praying for that officer that killed that man. Because I can tell you, he ain't handling the pressure right now. He ain't handling the pressure. And that, so that same spirit that got him to do that is the same spirit that caused Judas to hang himself after he betrayed the law. Them one third of them angels that came out of heaven with Satan, every last one of them working on him right now. But I'm going to tell you something that, you know, worldly people can't handle. I mean, it's hard to receive now. It's hard to receive. But if this dude tells God, I'm sorry. Forgive me a sinner. Forgive me a sinner. Say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. God is putting that guy in glory. <coughs> I can't help it. He says he's rich in mercy. I don't know what that thief that hung on do you know what the thief that hung with Jesus on the side is? Do you know what he did? Do you, do you think he might? He probably was a serial killer. I don't know what he did. See, that's the problem right there. You see, the enemy give us information. He don't need to give us information. For all have sinned. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I don't know what that thief that was on hanging beside Jesus did. But I know that he told him, remember me when you're going through your kingdom. Judas didn't say that. Judas hung himself. If this guy says, remember me, your free will, your free will Self don't matter. The objective is to repent of your sins. I bet you that guy's been baptized. First John says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all that information we took in that did not line up with love. That is the type of God we serve. Sorry for those of you that think it's going to end any other way. But, you know, Moses did kill a man. David did kill a man. Saul did kill Stephen in the daytime. Death. Because God knows that this is our problem. That we fall short of his glory because of the information. And that information takes us out of the day. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Stay in the day. Officer Chauvin didn't do that. But the problem with 
Officer Thompson, this dude still got breath in his body. And that unemployed cherub that's been kicked out of heaven makes us think that that dude is doomed. Not if he repents. Grace is still here. That officer couldn't have picked a better time to do what he did than now. But the act that he did has millions of Americans behaving in the same manner as he did, and they think because they ain't putting a knee on somebody's neck that it's justified. You in trouble because you done ate the wrong information. My name is Pastor Red. I will see you Thursday night. I love you. God bless you. Amen and amen.